Hey guys, my name is Aditya and this is my analysis of the sample superstore data set which I am submitting as my first task to the GRIP July 2021 program of the Sparks Foundation under the domain Data Science and Business Analytics. First of all, I would like to explain the problem statement. The problem statement here is to perform EDA on the sample superstore data set which is basically information about the sales of different products across the states in the US. I have to assume the role of a business manager and try to find out the weak areas where the company can work upon in order to increase the profit profits. So I haven't followed any strict methodology. I have uh, just made an initial dashboard and then tried to find out some story points and tried to explain them. So the very first dashboard shows the profit gradient across the states and across the respective subcategories of the selected region in the map. So right now, since all states in the US uh, are selected, the this chart would basically show us the overall statistics. And this chart is actually ordered by the ordered in the descending order, order of profit. So basically, technology is the most profitable sector, followed by office supplies and furniture. And we can see that tables are a are the least profitable sector it has a lot of losses and we'll be explaining why this is happening similarly from the map we can see that california washington new york are some of the most profitable sectors and texas is the least profitable sector so i will be trying to ad address the issue in texas and i'll be trying to address the issue of why tables are incurring such a high loss uh, now I would like to actually take a look into a different metric here we have just compared the profit across the regions now if I were to take the sales profit ratio I would get a different important point actually so this map is different from the earlier map in the sense this map has sales profit ratio representing the gradient so Texas still is in the bottom California Washington New York at the top but if you see the subcategory wise in all of US tables are not actually the least does not have the least sales profit ratio it is actually binders that have this least sales profit ratio so this will be the third thing that I'll be trying to address while why binders have such a low sales profit ratio and we'll be trying to look into that right now so first thing I did was basically compare the situation in Texas and California and this dashboard basically covers that and here you can also find the explanation for why binders have such a low sales profit ratio now in California we have sufficient sales for almost all the categories and in Texas we don't have that in, in Texas the sales for the categories are really low and adding to that Texas has issued a really high average discount on their products especially binders and appliances the average discount on binders and appliances issued by Texas is so high that it has actually resulted in the loss and I would like to believe that the such a high average discount is just to increase the sales but however the sales didn't increase and it finally ended up in a really big loss so I would like to uh, point out that we will have to look into the into why such average discounts were being offered in Texas for binders and appliances and why it didn't actually help increase the sales so that would be the first insight and first conclusion uh, conclusive point that I would like to make and further uh, we can actually uh, look at this graph in a better view if you were to compare directly so yeah uh, again the same point I would like to emphasize here also we can see that the average discount provided for binders subcategory in Texas is very high and the sales was also very low which led to the really low profit of the binder section and hence and also you can also see that the discount line in Texas has is much higher than that of uh, California and this is that something that the company has to look into we will have to revise the discount policies in Texas and we'll maybe withdrawal of certain products that are actually not allowed profitable in the sector would actually help Texas now Texas itself has a lot of cities in it and we'll be looking into where exactly in Texas will the company need to focus 
now this is the next graph and it basically shows us that uh, the state wise uh, it is basically the states and the cities in them so i can basically select a state and in the in my right hand chart it will show which cities in the states are contributing to the profit and loss so in texas it is actually just one city houston that is actually contributing to all the losses and the company will just have to look into what the situation in houston dallas and san antonio is because they are the ones that are actually incurring the most of the losses that's it about mm, the texas issue the texas issue has happened mainly because of the high average discounts being issued in texas especially in the three cities of houston uh, san antonio and dallas now coming to now we have solved one story point of texas we have not solved wheel but we have developed some insights at least now the next thing that we'll have to focus on is in general how can we compare the top 10 states and the top 10 uh, top 10 products in each state to the bottom 10 states and the bottom 10 products there now here if you see the top 10 states not even one of them have machines tables as uh, their top 10 categories and it would be a good uh, thing for the uh, company to rethink about whether to continue with machines and tables manufacturing because i believe that most of the losses we are incurring is because they are high production of cost low sales high average discount so this is something that we'll have to look into now now we can go into a product based analysis and here similarly we see that for both tables now the issue with tables is also similar the issue with tables is that across all united states the average discount kept for tables is much higher and the sales is also very low due to which we are incurring a massive uh, loss hence uh, average discount rates for tables and binders will have to be revised for binders we'll have to revise it specifically for texas and for tables we'll have to revise it uh, across the us across the states in us now uh, the data set also also had this market segmentation uh, column which is basically the products categorized by their market segment so if you look into that it does not provide uh, much insights as such because it it is almost similar for all all the uh, states and the only thing that we can actually see here is that in california specifically uh, the most profitable uh, sector is actually the consumer products consumer products need can be focused on more in california so that we earn more profits from them and that is basically it that is the entire thing uh, so the final conclusions that we can have is why the average discount for tables is kept really high even after having fourth highest sales discount rates for binders and appliances in texas will have to be monitored machinery and tables are basically two categories that are marked with sufficient losses they do not appear in the top 10 products of the top 10 profitable states and it will be uh, good to consider whether producing them further in the future will be actually beneficial beneficial for us and hence we can conclude that these are the some of the main findings and that is it uh, thank you for listening thank you for watching bye